hello everyone in today's video we will be seeing this question from the year 2017 so in this question we have to discuss the principle of artificial dielectric and mention its uses so we all know what is a dielectric so let's see why we need artificial dielectrics so there is a need for light weight and low loss dielectric material so all the naturally occurring dielectrics are generally heavy weight so we are finding the light weight dielectrics so the concept of artificial dielectrics first originated in 1940s and employed in microwave frequency range that is a long wavelength because at that time able to achieve that the lattice spacing and the short wavelength is very difficult and impractical in 1940s so it is a crystal lattice which is artificially assembled having the properties similar to the dielectrics so these are obtained by arranging a large number of identical spheres conducting spheres in a 3d pattern as you can see in this figure held together by a non conductive binder material it's a arrangement of conducting spheres in a non conducting support matrix so let's see the principle it works on the principle of polarization of atoms or molecules of the material so here you can see in this image this a lattice a non conducting lattice which are having these spheres of radius r these are the conducting spheres this is a lattice spacing s when a electromagnetic field is applied across this material there is a local response and the scattering on the molecular or atomic level so when we apply the voltage across the electrodes because of the supplied voltage we are having this electric field e in this direction because these spheres are requiring the surface charges so individual atoms are polarized now so there is a net polarization in so this is the positive this is negative so this is this net polarization field in the opposite direction so the spheres like molecules are polarized by the applied field as as you can see in this figure it is because of this individual polarizability of spheres polarization is established just like in case of a natural dielectrics so it works on the same principle as the natural dielectrics so these are the some uses insertion of dielectric increases the capacitance of a capacitor because of their energy storing ability they are mostly used for the energy storage purpose so high permittivity of the dielectric materials are used to improve the performance of semiconductors also they these are used in lcds and if the lattice spacing the s is less than the wavelength so these substances can refract or diffract so we can see the phenomena of refraction and diffraction so we can make lenses diffraction gratings and the mirrors polarizers for the microwave so because of the high electrical resistivity and low dielectric loss these are used in the insulation for wires and cables so these are some uses you can find many more uses so this is it for this question if you have any doubts related to this question you can write me in the comment box and if you want any other question to be solved by me you can write the same in the comment box so If you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video